Hello and welcome to this video tutorial of Magenta 2 web to print extension and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how to create custom customizable products from the admin backend using this extension and after that we'll be showing you the workflow at the front end how the customer can customize this product and can add this product and can make a checkout as well so uh, let's go to the admin backend panel first and let's create a customizable product from the admin backend so for that what we will be doing is we'll be going to the admin backend panel first so after logging into the admin backend panel uh, as we have already shown you in the previous video that how the admin can uh, create the image categories for the web to print extension how to add the images how to add the fonts and the colors so we have already gone through these four options for the web to print extension so in today's video tutorial we'll just show you how to create a customizable product from the admin backend and after that we'll be showing you the workflow at the front end so uh, to create a customizable product just uh, go to the catalog section and click the products menu option there now uh, to create a custom Customizable product what you need to, need to do is from the drop down that says and product here you need to select the web to print pr product type so you need to select the web to print product type to add a customizable product so that would bring up a page to add a new product so initially what we need to do is initially we need to fill in the uh, basic required information for a product and uh, to fill the information, we'll uh, just go ahead and we'll type in the uh, required uh, info there. So uh, I'll set the uh, name of the product and uh, I'll be setting up the price for this product. Apart from this, I can also set the quantity as well if I want and I can select the uh, category wherein uh, this product would be available for the customers. Uh, so after entering the basic information there, I'll be clicking the save button. So uh, the product has been saved. So initially we have just uh, filled in the uh, basic info there for the product and we have saved the product. Now to create a customizable uh, product from the admin backend, we need to navigate to the WTP customize section and here you'll have to click on the create WTP template. So create, I've clicked on that and we have this page wherein we can create and we can save our customizable template. So here, to insert an, insert an image for the uh, template we can click on the add mode button and this brings up the add template form and here in we can set up the title for the uh, uh, for the image so we'll be setting it as front side I'll set the description for this and here we need to uh, select two images one is the base image and the other one is the mask image the mask image format should always be of the png type so uh, i'll be selecting the base image for this uh, product so i've selected the base image i'll be selecting the mask image this one is the mask image so uh, i'll add that up even i can add template variations as well for example variation title is there for the color and I can set the title here the price for that the uh, base and the mask image for the template variation as well so for this example I'll just be creating a simple one so uh, that was uh, I've set the title the description the base and the mask image and I'll be clicking the save template after that and that would save this template so I'll just uh, click on the OK button so we have now uh, set the template and we have added the base and the mask image for the same. So uh, after adding the image and the mask image here, you can see uh, the product is now visible here. So now the admin uh, can add more images as well if he wants to add some more images for, for the backside or maybe the, uh, uh, maybe the right uh, uh, end of this t-shirt or something like that so uh, that was about the template part for adding the image now to add the text the admin just needs to click here and he can see that, that you can see that the uh, text uh, is uh, visible now here and you can uh, uh, edit the text as per your requirement 
uh, uh, anything like that you can uh, change the font type as well you can change the uh, font color as well so let me show you so I've changed the font color so uh, I've set it here and uh, I can make the text as bold, italic, uh, I can make the text to align to the left, uh, we can make use of uh, the layer up and layer down for the uh, text that we have, we can also make a copy uh, of the same uh, text that we have by clicking the copy button there, we can also delete the text box there, so this was uh, for the uh, text that we have. So. Uh, Whichever fonts the admin has added from the admin backend under the font section, those uh, fonts would also be visible here and fonts and drop down. You can also make use of different shapes uh, for the text. Like I've selected this dome shape for the text there. So uh, after that, we have the image. Uh, now here the uh, um, the, the, the customer can make use of the images that are uh, visible here or that have been added. So all of the uh, images that have been added by the admin from the backend would be visible to the customers under this section here. Uh, the same uh, uh, section is visible to the customers at the front end as well. So uh, the uh, customers can also search the images by the image name or if a customer wants he can also add a uh, add his own image by clicking the add button and uh, just by selecting uh, the image uh, from his uh, local desktop or his computer and after that the image would be successfully uploaded and then he can make use of that image as well uh, within uh, the area he wants to customize so for now I'm not using this image so that was for that and I was just showing you how you can add the image as well you can make use of any image you just need to click the plus icon uh, there and the image will uh, appear here now after that you can also change uh, or delete the image as per your requirement so that was for the image part after that we have the shape section here you can make use of uh, different shapes that we have so you can um, change the stroke color you can delete this uh, you can um, change the stroke width you can f uh, change the background color for this uh, shape that you've used so i've just changed the uh, uh, color of uh, that shape there you can make use of the boxes as well you can make use of this box you can lock an item so if you've locked it it won't be you won't be able to move this box away from this place as we are able to do with the other shape here so you can delete this as well after that uh, we have the zoom and uh, you can make use of the zoom functionality as well to check uh, how it looks or how it appears on your t-shirt as well and you can click the preview button to check the customizable product that would be visible to the customer at the front end so uh, after that you just uh, need to click on the save uh, customized uh, template and uh, before saving we just need to uh, select this templates, uh, template as the default one and after that just we'll click the save customize template button to save this uh, customized product that we have created this is just an example so uh, that's why uh, uh, it's not uh, that high, that high grade so uh, let the, so the template is uh, saved now so that was about how to create a customizable product from the admin backend and uh, let's just wait let the product uh, get saved and uh, the product has been saved so now let's go to the front end and let's go to the category uh, wherein we had added this customizable product so i'll go to the print category and here you can see uh, the product is visible the customizable product is visible and the customers can click on the product to uh, view the uh, customizable product and on the product page the customers will be able to see two buttons one is the add to cart button and the other one is the customize product button so here the uh, customer can customize this product by clicking the customize product button and this brings up the canvas uh, wherein the customer would be able to edit all the uh, details here so uh, if uh, the customer wants to change uh, or like uh, uh, 
uh, like you want to do a front side customization so he can select the front one if there's a back end customization as well for the t-shirt he can select the back one as well depending upon the uh, edit images for customization by the admin after that the customer can add the text as well as i've already shown you from the admin back end uh, and can change the color as well for the text and you can also change the shape of the text uh, uh, for example if you want is that want is that kind of a thing all right so if you want to change uh, the shape of the text you can change that as well as per your requirement uh, you can add images uh, if you want to add any image you can add the images uh, from this section so all the admin added images would be visible you can search the images as well otherwise if you want to add more images you can click on the add button to add images from your local hard drive that was about the image you can add the shapes as i've already shown you then you have the zoom button and uh, now before uh, you need you have to you want to add this product into the cart you just need to save the template first before that you can also preview the template but before uh, uh, that you need to save the template first and after that you can click on the preview button to check the preview of this customizable product so the template has been saved so I can click on the preview button so clicking the preview button brings up the uh, preview section and here you can see uh, the customizable product is visible also you can see the checks box that we have uh, that we had configured uh, in the admin backend is also visible and the checklist is also visible here so the customer can select the quantity here and can click the add to cart button to add this product into the cart so as to make a checkout so uh, uh, that was uh, much about this extension and uh, I've just shown you how to how to create a product from the admin backend and I've shown you how this product would be visible at the front end so uh, after previewing uh, the product the customer needs to check this uh, checkbox here first and after that he can also check the finalized checklist and after that just click on the add to part button to add this uh, uh, customizable product into the cart for making the checkout so now you can see that the product would get added into the cart for the checkout and here you can see the round color shirt is visible with the price as well and the customers can just click on the proceed to checkout button and click on the leave uh, pop-up so as to make a checkout and uh, pay for the customizable product there so uh, so uh, that was much about this extension and hope it helped you out and uh, if you have any queries or questions regarding this extension then you can always get back to us at support at the webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.ubdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead